and action. Last year, I built a simple little scanning rig to help me scan the trees for my recent texture pack. I liked it so much, I wanted to share it with all of you. It's simple to use, and you don't need any special skills to build it. Literally, all you gotta do is cut some PVC tubes and drill a hole or two. Even if you're horrible at DIY, I'll show you how easy it is. First off, what is it, and how does it work? This thing is made to shoot surfaces. It's not intended to shoot hammers, or pineapples, or wicked hot babes, but it is intended to shoot floors, walls, and other relatively flat surfaces. Specifically, in my case, I wanted to be able to shoot tree trunks quickly. The traditional way of shooting trees has always been either shooting handheld, or shooting with a tripod. Shooting handheld is super convenient, but at the sacrifice of quality. And shooting with a tripod is more awkward than tongue-kissing your cousin at prom in front of your uncles. Neither of those approaches really appealed to me. So I came up with this idea, a rig that combines the strengths of a tripod with the nimbleness of shooting handheld. All you gotta do is pick it up, place it against the tree, firmly but gently, and click the shutter. Like a tripod, the arms of the rig support the camera and allow for shutter speeds much slower than if you were shooting handheld. But unlike a tripod, I can quickly move the camera into position for the next shot, from the very bottom of the trunk to the top of my arm's reach. And you can shoot a new image about every two seconds and maintain that for hundreds of images. And it doesn't matter what the ground around the tree is like either. A tripod is useless if there's no room to place it. But this thing will always work as long as there's space for the camera. And you can even hold it in some awkward positions and still get good shots. It doesn't matter how big or small the tree is either. I've scanned trees as small as two inches in diameter with this thing. And remember, this thing is designed to scan not just trees, but surfaces in general. I use a ring light when I shoot with mine, but you can also use it without a light if you don't have one. For now, let's remove all the camera gear and just look at the PVC frame itself. There we go. If you ignore this area here, there's only four types of PVC components used. One inch PVC pipe, three quarter inch PVC pipe, one inch three-way elbow, and three quarter inch to one inch elbow. Here's the total parts list. To cut the PVC pipe, I like using a miter saw. It helps me keep the cuts clean and accurate. But PVC is very easy to cut, so lots of other types of saws will work just fine too. This is how I assembled the parts. It's quite simple. Just build the upper and lower arms first, then connect them together with the vertical supports, which also double as the handles. The foam on the 3 quarter inch PVC tube is there to create a little cushion of protection to reduce any jarring impact transferring through the PVC to the camera gear. It also protects the tree bark from being damaged or disturbed by the rig pressing against it. If you decide you do want to glue the PVC into place, I recommend doing it after you've had a chance to test out the rig and are sure you're happy with the configuration. It will be a lot easier to make changes to it while it's not glued. I've used mine for about a year now and still haven't bothered to glue it. Here are the overall dimensions of the rig I've built. The most important measurements to decide for your own rig are how long the arms will be, and how tall the rig needs to be to avoid having the arms showing up in your images. It may take some trial and error to determine what works best with the lens you'll be using and your general shooting style. Now, this area where the camera actually connects to the frame can be built however you want. I wanted to have a larger surface area to place my camera equipment on, so I decided to use a 1.5 inch plug, which meant I needed to connect my 1 inch pipe to a 1.5 inch fitting somehow. This is just what I decided to do based on what parts they had available in my store. Your store might carry more parts, you might decide a 1 inch plug is enough for your gear, you might decide to print a custom 3D part. There's more than one way to connect your camera to the rig, so I encourage you to think about what will work well for you, and don't necessarily just copy what I did. Having said that, this is what I did. I drilled two holes in the top of the plug to match the holes in the hardware that will support the camera equipment. Then I ran bolts through it and used coupling nuts to make it easier to tighten the nuts with a tool inside the plug. Here's
Here's the camera gear I used with the rig. One drawback to this design is that the pipe can rotate if you put enough force on it, especially with your camera gear on it. You could counter this by gluing the PVC or even bolting it in place. In a rig I built for Sebastian Zapata, I experimented with using different components, including some different PVC connectors I had to order online. You can see here that these four-way connectors allow you to run pipe in extra areas to stop the pipe here from being able to rotate without gluing or bolting or anything, but do remember, the more pieces you add, the heavier it's going to get. I recommend keeping yours as simple and light as possible, at least in the beginning. The parts are so cheap, you can always upgrade it later if you think the design can be improved. And certainly, this design can be improved. I have some ideas for my next one, including a better mount for the camera, moving the handles closer to the center of the rig, and adding some hockey stick tape to the handles to help when your hands get sweaty. I have some other ideas too, but I need to test them to make sure they'll actually work. I think this simple rig has a lot of potential in making surface scanning easier and faster. And I'm curious to see if any of you will take this idea and run with it, creating your own designs. Maybe somebody can even come up with a name for this type of rig. For now, most of my energy is going into making videos and texture packs. And speaking of texture packs, if you're interested in the 8K tree texture pack I just put out, it's on sale on my Gumroad page for $7.99 until June 21st. After that, it'll go up to $14.99. You can also download three individual trees from the pack at 4K resolution for zero plus dollars. My goal is to save up enough money to get a van and travel the country, and hopefully one day the world, scanning all kinds of things from new and interesting places. And of course, I plan to continue sharing whatever helpful tricks and ideas I come across with all of you. My next scanning video will be a long one on my main channel, Classy Dog Films, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Alright.